Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to play videos under our application. That is all the videos that we are getting generated from our cloud fast. Oh. But before jumping into our actual video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel. This channel shall provide you all the premium and best content over Flutter, Firebase and Dart. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and also press the like button from the start of the video so that the YouTube algorithm shall be knowing that we are doing a great job. So with that said, we shall be moving under our postpay.yaml file. And here under our postpay.yaml file, first of all, let's get a dependency of Chivi player. So here I shall be writing Chivi. After getting Chivi, let's get one more dependency of video player itself. So here let's type a video player. Cool. So now press Ctrl and S to get the both of the dependency from the pub.dev website itself. So once we have gotten the following things, let's go under services and let's create one more service for simply rendering our entire video. So for that purpose, let's go under core under services. Let's create a new file of video player dot dart. So under a video player dot dart, let's see how we can get all of the video player rendered under our application. So here let's create a new stateful widget. So here let's have a new stateful widget known as video player. So here under our stateful widget, let's import everything that is necessary. So here let's quick fix it by simply importing material dot dart. So here under this file, that is under this class. First of all, we shall be requiring a video player controller. So here let's have a video player controller to be nothing but simply a video player controller. After that, we shall be requiring a new boolean that is a final boolean of is loop that is if the following video is looping or not. So once we have done this, let's get the following constructor over the following video. So here let's have a new constructor of this dot least loop and also this dot video player controller. Once we have done this format document first, we can also do one thing add a required flag to it. So here let's have required one or right, a uh, bad spelling or uh, required and same thing we shall be copying here and paste it here format document first. So once everything is done from here, we shall be moving down under our player state and here let's have a new CV controller to be a CV controller itself. So once we have got our CV controller, let's have a new method of init state. So here under our it under our method of init state. All right, let's omit this and this. So here under our method of init state, we shall be having a new Chivi controller. So here let's have a new Chivi controller and the following Chivi controller shall be equal to a new instance of a Chivi controller. Now here under our following Chivi controller, it shall be requiring a video player controller. So here we shall be providing here a video player controller to it. So to provide here a video player controller, let's omit of this and have a widget dot video player controller add a semicolon and format document first after providing a video player controller to it let's have a looping property to it and for looping property we shall be writing widget dot is loop that is a boolean also let's have a aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and after that we shall be having a property of auto initialize to be true easy peasy so once we have done this we are good to go but you know what but we also require to do one thing that is dispose the following video so to do that, let's go here under the following method and under our dispose method, we shall be simply disposing our CV controller dot dispose easy thing format document first. So here under our entire built method, instead of returning a container, let's omit of this and here let's have a new CV widget itself and under our CV widget, it shall be requiring a controller and the controller will be nothing but a CV controller. Let's do one thing, add some more padding to our entire CV widget. Once we have done this, we are good to go. So now once we have created everything, let's create a video display as well. So here let's have a new stateful widget of video display. So under our entire video display, it shall be requiring a final to be a string to be nothing but simply a video URL. So here let's have a new video display and it shall be simply requiring a new value of the video URL. So here let's have required this dot video URL format document first. So once we have done everything from here, instead of having an entire container, let's have a new scaffold. All right. So let's return a new scaffold. So here under our following scaffold, let's have a new app bar to be the app bar that we have created and under our title text, it will be null and under leading widget, it shall be simply having a back button. So here let's have a new back button. So under our following black button on pressing over it, we shall be simply navigated to our entire home screen. So here let's have a navigator dot push replacement and here under the case of route, let's have a paste transition. Cool. So here as a form of child to our entire route, let's have a child to be a home view 
and also it shall be requiring a type so let's have a type to be paste transition type of anyone all right a type of bottom two up add a semicolon and we are good to go so after having the following app bar we shall be also requiring the body but before that let's have a background color to be a background color itself and after that we shall be requiring a body and the body shall be nothing but simply the entire video player so under our video player it shall be requiring true properties of is loop so under a case of is loop it shall be always be true and after that it shall be requiring a video player controller so let's have a video player controller and under our following video player controller it shall be under a type of a network now here it shall be requiring a data source so for data source i will be simply writing widget dot video url once we are done this format document first and we are good to go so once we have initialized everything let's try it out so for trying it out we can go back under our entire video detail view and here if you remember we have nothing but simply an icon button and here if i simply say print of play let's open our debug console and let's check it up Hit it once and after pressing over this you can see we are getting our entire string of nothing but simply a play so now let's try it out so here i will be simply having a new navigator to simply navigate us to the new player so here it shall be requiring a context and a new root so here under the following new root let's have a paste transition so here it shall be requiring a type and a child so here under the child let's have a video display itself so here under child let's have a video display so here it shall be requiring a video url so under video url let's have a video retail model dot firestore data dot data and from the data we shall be simply getting all of our video and here i will be simply pasting on the following value of video let's have a type to our paste transition so here let's have a paste transition type from bottom to up format document first and we are good to go so once we have done everything let's try it out so after so but first of all let's open our debug console clear it once and after tapping over it all right we are getting an exception that the following video player is not una unable to establish a connection that's because we are getting a platform exception error and to tackle the following platform exception error we need to simply reload our entire application from scratch so here i will be simply closing off my entire application and open it one more time so till then let's press f5 and reload our entire application once all right so now let's try it out if you see we have our entire detail view up and ready and here after pressing over this button we are now navigated to our next screen and now let's play this all right it sometimes it may take some more time to load it up but no worries it will be loading and up and ready so now we can see we are getting our video up and ready also you can hear the voice of it but now i can also do one thing that is make it somewhat vertical space that is simply make the following video under a landscape mode so in this way you can simply pay off our entire videos under our portrait mode and also all the landscape mode so as we have seen this all right we got it so now let's go back after minimizing it down now on to our android emulator the following process might look somewhat slow because the android emulator takes some more charge to it to load such a things but if you are carrying out such operations over actual physical device it will be more awesome and more cool but regardless of that let's go back onto our home screen under all the videos so in this way you can simply play all of your videos using a tv package and also the video player package and you know what we have covered a lot of busy things today if i show to you my video player file here we have simply initialized a new video player having a return statement that is a widget to be a tv and also all of its video display that is getting all of our video from network file and etc and you know what we will be keeping all for today because the following topic was quite vast and you need to digest it step by step so with that said i will see you in the next one while carrying out some of the operations over the following likes comments and bookmarks over the following videos and also we are going to add comments between these till then if you have loved this video please hit that like button and also if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe i will see you in the next one with another great video till then goodbye